Have you ever been driving on the highway and see someone try to pull in from an entrance ramp going way too slow for the rest of the traffic? Then he squeezes in and everyone has to slow down and the ripple effect is huge. Or the opposite. Have you ever been stuck on a really short entrance ramp waiting to get on the highway and there's no opening? And as you're waiting for the right time, you're wishing that the entrance ramp was longer so that you could build up more speed? Of course, we all have, right? This is what it's like when you're an overweight or metabolically unhealthy person starting a peptide like a GLP, like a Ritotrutide. Some people look at this from the view of, I'm overweight and I need to lose weight. And they pull on the highway without gaining momentum and it doesn't go as planned. What they should be thinking of is, what is the safest way for me to get on that highway? What if I had a longer entrance ramp? I'd be able to build more speed, safely enter, no anxiety, no danger to anyone. This is just a quick analogy explaining my process of low and slow starting with all of my clients starting their GLP journeys. Peptides are signals telling your body to do something better than the way it's been doing it. But if your body is already a metabolically unhealthy machine, it's not gonna be able to pull onto that highway quickly. And the best way to do that is to slowly ramp it up. I'm the only one I know of that's offering free coaching to all my clients. If you're interested in speaking to me further about personal coaching for your health journey, you can email me at thepeptideadvantage at gmail.com. Stay healthy.